Hola gang, I'm over here at Checkers again, and today I'm going to be reviewing their Checker Burger. Yeah! Welcome back to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, your old nerd of the day, and I do try things so you don't have to. Another day, another Checkers product. Old guy goggles on and I don't have the clipboard of fluff today. I've got the mobile phone of fluff. So the checker burger, it says it's a classic for a reason. Get our hand seasoned 100% beef hamburger patty topped with a slice of red ripe tomato, red onion, crisp iceberg lettuce. Really? Dill pickles. Ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise all served on a toasted sesame seed bun. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Got the handy dandy steering wheel tray there to keep everything in its place and off my lap. And there is the bag it came in right there. Got the napkins there. Have the damage. And there is the checker burger. It wrapped really well, but there it is. Okay, this is fairly tiny. There you go. There's what we got to look at. You can see the beef patty in there and the tomatoes and the lettuce and all the goop and the sesame seed bun. All right. Well, presentation is not a lot to be desired. Um, let's give it a shot. Closer look inside for you. You can see everything a little bit better. See that onion in there too. I gotta say, just as an aside, that you know that I'm not a pickle guy, but I'm really digging their crinkle cut pickles. It's, I, I eat by texture. And so the crinkle cut, I, I, it, it's just better to me for some odd reason. That's, that's kind of weird, but I do like them. All right, so I did pick this up on their two for five deal. As I said in the fish video, they have like four items that you can choose from uh, for five bucks. So I got this and I got a fish sandwich, the last video. And so uh, damage on this right here, the checker burger for me was $2.50. Okay, not sure what it is regularly. I would assume it's probably along the line of the fish sandwich, so it's probably a buck more, at least. Okay, let's break this down. Um, sesame seed bun is nice. Uh, I, I like those. Um, all the goop was good. The, the tomatoes and the onions, um, everything had, all that stuff had a nice crunch to it. The the watery lettuce and then all the goop on it the mayonnaise and the mustard and the ketchup was they added a nice flavor to it it was really it was kind of hard to distinguish the uh, hamburger patty but um it was okay it wasn't too bad it, it's what i would expect uh from a, a a lower end burger at a fast food place uh -oh. and you know if you're gonna stand out as one place from another, you got to have a little bit of a difference. Um, and and I, I didn't really get that in the beef patty. Tell you what, let me just try it by itself. There, there we go. Now that I tasted it by itself, it's better than I thought it was. On the Nerdometer, I would give the Checkers Checker Burger, um, I would give this a low, I like it. And the, the, the presentation wasn't that great. Uh, the size was smallish, especially for a, if I had bought that at a full price, I would have been a little bit cranky at the size, even though, you know, a lot of other burgers probably around the same size are going for like five bucks. And but that, I mean, that's ridiculous. This is just kind of stupid. So you got ridiculous up here and you got stupid down there. So this this is better. But I want to know from you guys, have you had the checker burger, just the standard checker burger with everything on it? Go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. There you go, gang. Another review in the bag. Thanks so much for being here. 
please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. That really helps me out. And uh, check out all the nerdy groovy links down below in the description. If you do all that, you too can become a part of the coffee swilling old nerd crony community. Uh -huh. At least there's coffee, right? Okay, you guys have a freaking awesome day. And I'll talk to you again. Bye now.